Real True Education, not fake news. The 11th of uh, November 2020. You're welcome back. It's getting wintry, although it's not cold. It's uh, it's wet, a lot of rain. And uh, it's time for putting cattle in. Um, people often tell me down the south you can keep cattle out to Christmas, but I don't understand that. All right, it's warmer, but... Uh, it's warm here too, but it's wet. It's just as wet in Kerry as it is up here, so I'm not so sure if that's the case. Anyway, this is on farming, and it's 14-0. By the way, that's not a that's not a 140. That's a zero. 14-0. <clears throat> it follows 14 in, and uh, it's uh, COVID marts, <laughs> COVID marts, and all this COVID. Anyway, whatever the rights or wrongs of COVID, and I'm not a fan of what's happening. Uh, we have to cope with it until we do something better. <clears throat> and the way it's working in the marts, I think most farmers know about it is, um, this for this five weeks anyway, if not for even longer, uh, you bring your cattle in, get them brought in or bring them in yourself, and you let them off and you hand up your cards. And that's the end of it. Uh, buyers then uh, re uh, register with this pe those people, market.ie. Market.ie, that's it there, market.ie. Now, I wouldn't go writing it down. You get out to your mart and they'll tell you. They'll tell you. Most of them are using this. And you just go into it, you register, you give your email address and your phone number and um, it register, register, registers you. Now, I just registered as a seller. Uh, you don't have to be a seller. Anyone can register. In fact, a friend of mine was watching from far away today <laughs> just, just to try it out. So you can go on there and you can see it. But if you want to be a bidder, if you want to bid, I think there is a process where you have to be verified to, so they know who you are, that you wouldn't get some play by uh, bidding on cattle and then not coming in to claim them. So I think I think that's sort of, but, but that's it. Mark, it's market.ie or get onto your, 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 your mart. Now, whether you have the internet or not, you can bring in your cattle and leave it to them. Now, most people have a phone, I'm sure. I have this old thing. I have a computer, I have a good laptop. But I just use this old thing that's handy on the farm, uh, the Dory phone. But that'll do you once it gets text. So most people can read a text. So you leave them in and that's all you do. You can just do nothing. And eventually when they're sold, you'll get a text to give you the number of the cattle. Oh, by the way, they'll ring you out with the number of your cattle. Or you can ring in before the march starts. So if your cattle, if you have one, one bullock, we'll say, uh, he could be lot number uh, 220. Uh, you ring me up or find out before the march starts I think they ring you and in my case I rang up and you'll get the number of the animal you left in or if there's more than one you get them write it down on a piece of paper uh, like this here the usual scribbly down write it down so you'll have the number of your tag and then the number of the animal and you have that so that's it you'll hear nothing else then until they're sold and you'll get a text telling you how much they made and you can take it or refuse it you take it or refuse it now what I did today was I came home after leaving in my cattle and I uh, put on my computer and sure enough I got the market eye thing up and uh, there I was and into the ring straight away and as my cattle were, fe were females I went into the heifer ring there and I could watch the whole thing the same as me not the sales. I mean it is amazing like that, that how much things have come on. Now I know I, I believe there are a lot of people still doesn't have the internet but if you have some people have smartphones or somebody anyway but for selling you don't need to be on it there's no concept of putting them on the market the auctioneer sells them subject to your approval and uh, there's no such thing as right you can go on the market anyway i always found the putting of them on the market a bit of a cod in many ways because you're right you you have a nice uh, uh, bullock there store and he's going 11, he's going 11, 10.50 we'll say. And you, you drive him on to 11, no it won't tell you, you drive him on to 11 and you bring him home and that's it, you were getting 1100. But in a lot of cases he could go 150 euros on the market and certainly he could go 70 euros. And a very odd case he'll go nothing. But it's an odd case. I cannot remember selling an animal, I think it's about three years ago that I only got 10 euros on the market. But you'll generally get a good lot on the market and I never worked out the average price. So if you're getting if you're getting uh, 1100 and you think the, the animal's worth 12 and you put them on the market 
there's a good risk you could get 12 and a half. So I never really seen, the principle is that the animal's not put down for sale until you give your consent. And in this, in this system, you don't give your consent, the animal's sold, and then you approve. And you could use that in the ordinary mart, where if, when it goes back to normal, if that ever happens, where, you'd, where your animal will come in, you'd be in the box, and the animal would be sold, and you'd decide whether you took them or not. <laughs> and you know exactly what you're getting, you know, with the with the, with the, with the, the 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 traditional system, you decide to sell or not before the animal is sold. You you put them on the market before they're sold, and once you put them, once you give the auction you the nod and you put them on the market, yet yeah, on the market, you're out of there. The animal could go a lot of money afterwards, but you are you've no say one way or the other. And the other thing, you're, 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 for some reason, buyers will seize up on a certain figure, they won't give any more, and you say no, and you have to bring your animal home. And if you say yes, very often someone will come, ah, well, I'll, I'll go another pound or two. And you, you end up maybe getting a £100 more. So with this system, you don't put them on the market at all. You, you, the animal's sold, and you get your text, and they'll call you out, and what, are you going to take it or not? And you can take whatever ones you want and not. I think that explains it. So you don't need the internet at all. Now the downside of it in my view is it's hard to judge the cattle. I know you can go in to see them the morning of the auction but if you go into 200 cattle can you really check what you want and make notes? Seems a bit fresh to me and a bit dodgy to me. I don't think you can. And you can't see them in the flesh although the camera does do a good job on them now. It does do a fairly good job. I don't think I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I do have a certain thing when I'm buying that I like, and it always works out for me. And I don't know whether it'd work with this one. It might work. It's better than nothing, anyway. Certainly better than nothing. It certainly benefits the seller, in my view, more than the buyer. And um, there, there was a rumor going around that uh, some people would say that had for long ago in the in, in the cattle mart, it was a known thing that jobbers had put in. Uh, one bad one with, with five good ones and you'd buy the whole lot and you'd end up with the bad one no one would buy the bad one of them that 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 was all often all, all is the way they batch the whole lot up and they sell them maybe three or four nowadays you rarely see more than one animal sold you might get a pair you very rarely see it but i often seen the dealers long ago coming in with 12 with 10 and 12 cattle all in the ring and you'd buy them on the ring it, 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 it died out because it was too open to to trickery and there's talk now that if you have a man there, we call him John Thomas McGinty, and he brings in a pen of seven cattle, and he puts them in the one pen, and there's two or three of them really good ones, and the other one's not so good. The buyers will look and see, oh, there's good cattle there. And when they see them coming in, he'll generally put the best ones first. They'll try and buy the first two or three, and they don't get them. They go too dear. And then he buys the tail end of them, and he's not getting that good ones. I heard, I heard that said. I, I'm not sure. You can see them good enough on the camera. Anyway, um, anyway, I had, uh, I had three. I had one good cow, a fat cow, and she had a bull calf, and he's gone. I sold him, and but I couldn't get her back in calf, and she was seven eighty kilos, uh, seven eighty kilos, um, and she was a Shirley, and she never got any meal. She never got any meal at all. And she made seventeen hundred. I topped the mark with that one. That was good, seventeen hundred. Then I had six eighty kilos. Made one one seven zero. Oh. That was a uh, black white had a, a touch of a, of a, a seminal. Uh, we call them sentimentals around here. The uh, seminal. Uh, but uh, she was sucking the calf, and uh, she was a good old cow. But I, I, she was getting a wee bit on the old side, so I let her off. And then there was uh, uh, I had six eighty kilos again in a Shirley. An old quiet cow, surely, if she was getting on in years. And again, she was uh, only after being weaned like the one before. And she wasn't, she was getting no meal. So she made a 1,070. Now, them cows, if they're fed on for a couple of months, will put on weight. And I, I'm overstocked and I wasn't in the way of doing it. And it's difficult. Um, you know, I bought a few as well. So, so all told, like, there's nothing to write home about the last two prices. But it's not a disaster. It's not a disaster. It's not a disaster. And the first one, I wouldn't. I sold the very same type of cow uh, about nine months ago in the factory, and I only got uh, I think it was thirteen ninety. I mean, I got easily three hundred euros more for that fat cow in the in the in the mart. 
than I got in the factory. Uh, and not so where, but it's not too far from here. So I was very pleased with that. Good price for that cow in, in the present circumstances. There's a good demand for beef in England and in, in the UK, and the northern buyers are, are, are very active. We're lucky, I think, that we can get out in this in this situation. I don't agree with all this thing, but that's my opinion. But we're lucky that we can get out, and I, I'm, I'm now, it leaves me now that I can head into my weaning now and do it without too much hassle, without having these big gulpins of, of cows uh, who, who that are not they're not uh, proven in calf. Oh, by the way, all of these were served AI twice, and all of them uh, repeated, so they're not holding the bull, and that's the bottom line. So they're no good for me that way. So look, folks, that's all right. My advice is anyway, here in Kingscourt, uh, Nigel was selling the, the bullocks and bulls today, and Lisa was selling the heifers and the cows, so it all went great. It went on late enough, mind you, and uh, it's a good little mart. And then there's other marts there, wherever, wherever suits you. So my advice is, if you're selling, you may go for it. If, if, you're, if you're under trouble. Um, another thing that happened too is the beef genomic scheme ends the 31st of October. So there's a lot of female cattle coming out now because you're free to sell them now. That, that you'd have to hold them if there were certain uh, quality and certain star rating. And that, that That's another issue. But but I, I wouldn't be afraid of it if you're selling and if you're buying, yeah, come buy. I, I would certainly have a go at buying one or two on it. I'd like to be able to, but I have mine bought before it closed down, and I'm uh, very pleased with the ones I bought. So, so uh, it's um, whether you can see them as good is the issue, and whether they wouldn't. And when you're selling, then the other question is, would there be people sitting at home that'd love to buy them if they could? I don't know. I don't know. I think to say that most people have some way of working, they have a relation or someone to go on the iPhone and do it for them iPhones are tricky old yokes, but uh, the laptop is what I use, and it's the simplest. It's as simple as anything. If you could invest in it, if you're getting the internet, get a, a decent uh, Lenovo laptop or a, even a HP. I go the Lenovo is the best one, and uh, or whatever, and uh, get an order. Not that expensive to do an ordinary person for a long time. And then if you're getting the internet, that's another day's work. A lot of people don't have it, and that's the way it is. But I have it, uh, no problem, no problem at all. And it's the way of the future, whether we like it or not. I think one of the effects of this with the farming community, who are tend to be a wee bit conservative in many ways, I think one of the effects of this is going to be to drive the internet forward in everybody, in, with everybody. And, and it will outdo the traditional way of selling things, the traditional shops, uh, even the marts, even the day we come, I think, when this goes back, you'll be able to buy online without going into the mart at all. I think that'll come. Uh, you'll be there bidding on a, on, on a calf and be, or there'll be someone else bidding somewhere with genuine bids coming up on, 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 the, on the desk. So that's, that's what's going to happen. That would, might never happen only for the COVID. So COVID is going to change things an awful lot, in my opinion. And some of it may, may be for the better. But then when they get onto that, they'll start buying stuff online because shops are very bad stock. A lot of stock, shops are bad stock. So you're going to see people buying online more. And that's going to hit the traditional high street market. And it's going to hit the rates because these shops will be paying rates to councils commercial rates and it's going to affect things big time and it's not a world that I see much future in. I, I, I much rather the personal contact and to buy the thing and go into a shop, go into your local uh, Poles Co-op or Fraser's or somewhere else and, and meet the staff there and, and all that but unfortunately this may be the way it's going. And just to finish off folks, uh, I wonder is all this lockdown to do with the fact that there is internet, there is ways around these things? You know, even mass, you can watch mass on, on the computer now too. And it would, if it was 30 years ago, we wouldn't have these alternatives. You know, is it because there's an easy way around these things that they have these lockdowns on? I won't answer that on this. It'd be inappropriate to me to do so. I'll be do, doing other videos on it. So that's it for the farmers now at 14 minutes. Don't hold up cattle if there's distress or if you have shortage or if you have very wet ground and order to put them or very tight packing and sheds don't hold them up you'll get a reasonable price and don't forget you can bring them home you can bring them home uh, it's not a big trouble you, you, you don't sell you give the nod on the phone she'll ring you and you say yeah i'll take it on that one i'll take it now and have your bit of paper like this ready and your old pen and whatever it is and i go for it in my own case uh, big mature cows are very very hard to load and i always have trouble and have trouble 
loading these, but uh, good good helpers and that. So and good good people, good contractors and that. So so you 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 um you get around these things. But I didn't want to be bringing these ones home. <laughs> I'd never seen nicely nicely uh, settled down when I got them out and ready now to start the waning. So that's my advice. Uh, go for it. Uh, don't be stuck. Bring them out. Sure, look at it. It'll do all right. It's the way the thing is going, and uh, don't be afraid of it. And that's all I can say. Maybe it's a bit, maybe a bit, a bit, a bit uh, patronising treating people like this. But you wouldn't know there could be someone that's not used to farming and not know what's going on, and uh, and all that. One man said to me coming out today. He says one thing it'll do away with is these fellas around the ring claiming cattle. You know they're they're trying to stop other people bidding. So there comes a nice a nice bullock in here, a nice store, and this fella here puts his finger up and he's. Sure, I'm going to buy this one. In other words, you keep off. I want to buy this one. And the auctioneers have big noses everywhere. And it goes on. And, and that's one thing they won't be doing. And the other thing is, there used to be, and there still is a bit, of bidding on their own or having someone bidding on theirs. And uh, you're bidding against uh, the actual owner. Uh, as a young fella, they tried that on me. And I used to bid them mad, bid everything up. I didn't walk out in the street. And they come running out after me. They'd be left with their own cattle. But it's not happening that much now. And auctioneers do, do try to stop it. It's the death of a mart. Once that whole messing gets into it, nobody wants it. No, nobody wants it. It's not around here anyway, and it doesn't happen in Kingscote Mart. But they still do it. You can't stop the jobber. Fit with the finger. You just keep away. I want to buy this one. Um, I think the way to handle him is a, a big lump of a black turtle stick and give him a whack of it down the crowd. I wouldn't hit him on the head, but on the shoulder. But we don't do that. But uh, this prevents them doing that. Uh, it, it maybe it's fairer in that way. Price wise, I think. I think with that good cow, I wouldn't have got a better price, no matter where or how or what circumstances, are, even if there was no COVID. I think with the other ones, you're only talking about 20, 30 euros. Prices are all right. Um, I go for it. So that's it, folks. I've said enough. Uh, thank you very much. Give me an old thumbs up or a thumbs down. We're living in, in unbelievably weird and strange times I never, ever saw. Thought I'd see this crack going on. But anyway, for that now, we'll let you go. And thank you very much on the 20th of November. 2020 uh, on farming and the uh, system of selling using the internet and, and all that. Uh, so bye bye and we'll see you back. Okay.